there, there are some women who say, and I've, I've talked to a few who say this, they say, hey, you know, I'd like some privacy in the bathroom. Uh, I'd prefer not to encounter you know, naked penises, frankly. Uh, they say even that the penis is a telltale sign that someone is a male. I mean, there, there are people who have kind of really bought into the, to the rumor that um, only men have penises. What, how do we account for that? How do you respond to that? Um, well, um, well, what I would say is that uh, most transgender people uh, that I know, um, and it's a very, I think, distinct minority of people. It's a very, it's a, it is a, it is a very, I think, uh, we're talking not about a lot of people. Um, I think a person who wants to use a woman's bathroom who identifies as transgender really does think of themselves as a female. So how we go about trying to, um, you know, uh, respect their basic right to live, I think will be an, an important part of this law. And um, With bathrooms, law. well, wait a minute, ba bathrooms are, bathrooms are, you know, where you want to take this conversation instead of the basic right to this life is something that I'm kind of mystified that you're kind of not focusing on first. So we're going straight to the controversy over bathrooms. Um, hmm. So, you know what? I think this interview is over. Yeah, I think yeah. we're gonna I think, I think this interview is over. I just had one last question. Uh, what, well, I, 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 what, the interview's what, over. Please we want to know what, what is a woman? Please let's turn off the cameras. Excuse we, me, I, so we're gonna end the interview. If you guys could please pack up and return the office exactly. I just wanted to know. Okay, I came all this way to know what. Thank you. Another fair question. I just wanted to know what is a woman. And you're not gonna find out.